Hey guys, what's going on? It's Droll Kyle Mania here, and it just started raining. But hey guys, what's going on? It's Droll Kyle Mania here, and today we're here for another episode of House Tours in the World of Cribcraft. And today we're going to be touring one of my new modern houses. This is like a contemporary modern house style that I made. And uh, I'm really happy with how it turned out. It's one of my favorite houses I've made. It's a decent size. Uh, I'm just going to do a little fly around first. Like I said, I really like how it came out. Exterior came out really nice. And the uh, interior came out pretty nice, I think, too. So uh, I also really like how the back of the house came out. And here we also have like a uh, garage. There's like two driveways to this house, which is an interesting feature. There's one near the actual front of the house, and then there's one like in the back too, which we'll go into more depth later when we go look at the backyard. But here's the uh, first driveway. So uh, why don't we start this house tour? And we're just going to go up these stairs. Very nice. I used a jungle wood theme in this house. And here we have a wraparound balcony over here. Well, not completely wraparound, but uh, there's uh, two big balconies on this house. And uh, I guess we'll start off on the downstairs. So you have this like main entrance area. Not too much going on here. You got a nice wither skull painting there. And down here, we come down to the living room. Uh, pretty simple living room. Nice design, nice couch design. Again, keeping that jungle wood theme, because I actually really like how jungle wood looks. I don't care what other people say. I think it looks great. Simple TV design, and as you can see, we have a pretty nice natural feature right here that uh, divides up the whole first floor. Also, we have another sitting area over here where you could have some guests have some coffee at the uh, coffee table, I guess. And here is the only bathroom of the house, but uh, it suits the the uh, purpose pretty well. Got some the shower, some storage, the sinks, and then we have a modern toilet, and it's modern because it looks like it's going to fall over, as Kevin would say, <laughs> which I kind of agree. I think that looks pretty modern, though. Um, and used uh, white wool as the seat, so it makes it look like a toilet seat, kind of. And we got the bathtub, a little shelf here with some cacti on it. Um, so pretty nice bathroom. Yep. And now we're going to move on over to the kitchen slash dining room area. Got some nice uh, modern rugs over here too. Can't forget about our modern rugs. I wish I could hit this door. There we go. Um, all right. So for the kitchen, I did a checkered pattern floor, which I normally never do. But I thought it fit this, um, and so did Don Patchy, because he gave me the idea to put a different colored floor there. But uh, we got a nice bar going around the table, or the kitchen, and we got some plates that you could eat at. Then we have this uh, stovetop area with a nice um, overhead thing. I forgot what those are called. And pretty nice fridge using chiseled quartz. Then we got the sink, some shelving more shelving and like a uh, countertop area over here. So pretty nice kitchen. And right here we have uh, the dining room with some more cacti on it because I love my cacti. And some shelf, or not, uh, some, bush, some bushes and some modern shelf. Ah, oh, I can't even speak right. I can't pronounce my, I can't pronounce my S's right now. There we go. Um, <laughs> and then we got some modern shelving around the room with two nice paintings. Um, but that's it for the downstairs, so let's move on to the upstairs and go back up these stairs and right up here. So the uh, first room in the upstairs is like an entertainment area. Right here you got like a pool table. Which is a pretty cool uh, pool table. Um, I completely forgot who gave me this pool table design, but I told them I would give them credit. So I'm going to try and figure that out, and once I do, I'll link their gamer tag in the description. But this isn't my own pool table design, so I'll, ch I'll get back to you on that one, because I completely forgot who showed me it. 
Um, and then we got a nice little TV design right here. And here's a balcony. This is uh, with some flowers, not cacti. Um, overlooking Melon Manor, and it's putting green and pool. This is where I like to spy on Matt when he's uh, bathing. Not really, because no one wants to see that hideous thing. <laughs> Just kidding. But um, let's go on into the master bedroom and only bedroom of the house. So um, we walk in. Got some nice shelving where you could keep your clothes. Then you got the um, TU-14 bed, TU-14 approved bed. Only the best on crib craft, I guess. And some carpets, modern carpets in the room. And a nice closet over here. Uh, some more shelving around the room. And there's those famous cacti again. And we got some, like, coffee mugs, too. I put in the corner. And here is the uh, wraparound porch again. And we'll take this bad boy over to the front porch. Or, well, the front entrance. Because it's a wraparound porch, like I said. And now we're going to go downstairs and go to the backyard. We'll see what's cooking up over there. So uh, the entrance to the backyard is right here. This is the door I couldn't close earlier. And um, you got a nice gravel pathway going throughout the whole thing. Uh, here we got a nice little simple pool area. I was going to add some lawn chairs, but then I didn't. And this is actually only one deep, and I made I made it look like that by just putting ice underneath. So that's a neat trick if you're feeling lazy and you're making a pool. Um, we got a pretty cool fence design going around the whole yard. And here, this, this I really like. I was just bored, so I made a basketball hoop on the side of the garage. And I actually really like how it turned out. So this is a pretty cool uh, basketball hoop design if you want to take some inspiration from that. <clears throat> pretty unique and it's like and if I think it felt fits really well in the area and then over here we have the garage pretty nice looking garage with a car in it that Canadian half finished the PVP Canadian made this car for me but he didn't finish because I exited the world so we have I think the front's a little longer he uh, it's his model T Ford so some of you probably recognize it he, he put it on the sub world Actually, you know what? Let's go to sleep real quick. Uh, if I could find him, why did I just skip the beds? There it is. Um, there we go. Sleepy time in Cribcraft World. All right. So there we go. So over here on the uh, left side of the driveway, if you're coming in. This is the other driveway, by the way. You got a nice little pond over here with some trees around it. And on the right side, we got our tennis court where I ball hard on the court. And I don't mean the basketball court. I mean the tennis court. So uh, this is looking pretty nice. Um, I think you guys might be able to hear my dog. So I'm going to wrap up this house door before my dog might go crazy because I think someone just got home. Um... So I hope you guys have, uh, enjoyed this episode of House Tours in the World of Creepcraft. And uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Drollcomania, signing out.